Hello guys, today I'm gonna show you how to create CWAP space from partitions or a disk. So basically they are the same actually, creating CWAP space from the partition or a disk are the same. So let me just make this screen bigger. So but before that I would like to give some simple definition of CWAP space. So as you already know that when you start an application or a program, the programs need to access some memory pages. So memory pages are simply RAM, which is random access memory. So sometimes uh, you don't have enough RAM, or if there is a shortage of RAM, then you need to create some swap space, which makes more RAM available for other programs that need to access memory pages. So that's why we need to create additional swap space. But in general, most Linux servers, most Linux operating systems are configured with some swap space. You can display it if you use free.m command. So it will display your RAM space. As you know that in total, like memory, this is the RAM. It is around uh, 800 megabytes. And we have also swap space. It is automatically configured by Linux. So it is around two gigabytes and almost like 36 uh, megabytes of the swap space is used. So I'm going to create additional swap space so that uh, sums up with this swap. Okay, let me print our block devices, our disks and partitions. So you can use lsblk command. I have a disk which is STC. And this one is free disk. So I have also STB and I created some partitions from this STB disk. If you don't know how to create partitions on Linux, I explained everything related to partition stuff in one of the, my videos. So I will put a link in the description below so you can watch it later. Okay, let's say that I would like to create swap space using let's say that this STB3 partition. As you see that it is one gig, the size is one gigabyte and right now it is free. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use FDisk utility, FDisk and then our main disk is dev stb. So I created some partitions from this disk stb. So FDisk is used to create partitions. So FDisk dev stb, click enter. And I'm just going to put letter P, it will print all the information about our partitions related to this disk. So, as you see that STB3, so it is one gigabyte in size and ID83 and the type is Linux. So every partition has, every partition has some type. So right now STB3 type is Linux, but it needs to be swap. Type. In order to change the type of these partitions, you have to write T and then press enter, then you can change the partition type. But before that, I would like to show you all the partition types. So you can use L and press enter. So these are the partitions type that are used in Linux. As you see that it is Linux, the STB3 actually, the type is Linux and ID code is 83, but we need to have Linux swap type. So we are going to use 82 ID. So what I'm going to do is using the T letter, then press enter. It is used to change the partition type, click enter. And it says which partition number. So since we are using STB3, it will be three, click enter. We need to give the hex code of the type that we want to use. So we're going to use swap. So hex code is 82. Just write 82, click enter. And it is changed. So let us use M, I'm sorry, let us use W and then click enter. It will write all the changes. So let us just do F disk dev STB again. So in order to see that if it is really changed or not. Let's use P, print all the information. As you see that right now STB3 type is Linux swap. So it is okay. 
let's do 3m so just remember that right now swap space is around 2 gigabytes by the way you can also use swap on swap on command also shows the only swap so press enter so it says that this is dev dm1 so it is related to our main disk sda so the partition is 2 gigabytes and it is used for the uh, swap space okay so our let's do just lsplk so hdb3 is 1 gigabyte and we have already 2 gigabyte swap space so we'll add 1 gigabyte as well so it will be 3 in total let's do that it is very simple you are going to use make swap command make swap then your partition hdb3 click enter now our swap space is created it's to free dot i'm sorry free dash m click enter it is still two gigabytes let's use swap on it is not displayed here as well so because we didn't activate actually our swap space so we have to use swap on command then your swap partition is to be sorry click enter now it is activated let's do free dot m free dash m i'm sorry as you see that now it is around three gigabytes so we added one gigabyte to our swap and you can also use swap on so now it shows our second partition as well as to be three so it's around one gigabyte that's pretty much it you just created your swap space and add it to the main swap let me clear the screen but what happens when we reboot or restart our machine? Let's do that. I'm going to use reboot. I'm going to use one more time to SSH to my machine. So let's do that. Okay, it's just rebooted. I'm going to switch to root user. Now let's do free dash M. Oh, it is still two gigabytes but we already created one gig web space and we added to our main web but it is still two gigabytes so it is because when you reboot your machine it will be just gone in order to make it permanent you have to add your disk to the fstab file i already explained what is fstab file in, in my video like i put this link in the description below you can watch it so I'm going to edit this fstab file. fstab is located under etc directory fstab and click enter. So as you see that we already mounted some disks to some mount points. But you know before that I would like to get the UID of our swap disk, swap partition. For that we can use blkid command. We have to look for stb3. Okay, it's here. As you see that our UID is this one. I'm just going to copy it. And you can see that the type is swap. Let's clear the screen. Now I'm going to add this UID to fstab file. And mount it basically. So paste this UID. For the mount point, we just need to use swap. You can write swap. You don't need to write any directory and for the file system it will be swap as well then we are going to use defaults and then options will be zero and zero maybe you are not familiar with what is this x4 what is xfs or defaults or what is what does it mean zero zero i already explained everything in the video that i put a link in the description below you can watch it so let's save this file okay now it's saved but we have to check that is everything okay or not in order to do that i mean we have to check this fstab file if you added swap in your fstab file you have to check it if it is okay or not so in order to do that you can use uh, this swap on swap on then dash a option click enter so it doesn't give any error let's just make sure we can use echo dollar sign 
I'm sorry, dollar question mark. So if the response is zero, it means that the command before this echo it was successful. Let's click enter. So it is zero. It means that this command is successful. Let's check our swap. So three dash m. So it is added. It's around three gigs. So if I do reboot again, then our swap space still should be three gig. So let's do reboot. Let me SSH to our machine again. Okay, clear the screen, switch to the root user. And now let's do free dash M. As you see that it is still three gigabytes. So it means that our solution works. You can also use swap phone as well. So it is again displayed here, our partition, swap partition. You can also turn off your swap partition. In order to do that, you are going to use swap off. So swap off, then your swap partition. Now let's do swap on. As you see that it is turned off. And let's do free dash M again. So it is two gig. Let's clear the screen. Let's turn it on again. So dev stb3. Let's do swap on. It is here. And free dash M. It is still three gigs. Now it is just added to main swap. So it works. All right, guys, that's how we create swap space from partition or a disk. Bye.